Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector. And sorry about the tripod, it's been a lot fussy today. There we go. Hopefully we'll get it working properly today. And yeah, it's Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today we'll be reviewing a figure I got from Ollie's for only five bucks. G.I. Joe classifies Storm Shadow from the Snake Eyes movie. I love this design so much, I picked him up. Why not? Yeah, I say why not. He's pretty cool looking. Look at Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow himself. We're going to look at his packaging. Snake Eyes, the movie, origin. G.I. Joe classifies Storm Shadow. And a nice product shot of Storm Shadow. And warning information and the price I paid. Look at that. Five bucks. That's a deal if you have a local Ollie's. On the box, got some artwork of Snake Eyes. Love this box. Hands down. But now we're going to look at Snake Eyes himself. Articulation. He can kick that far. His knees can bend, but they're so tight and I'm afraid of breaking them. Yeah. They're really tight and not loose. Shoulders can move. Get some moving out of the shoulders, not much. Same, just like the first. I just don't want to break the joints on this new figure. And he's so tight, I don't want to break any of the joints. But now we can give him his double katanas. If I can get him the in his hand. Ugh. Come on. Come on, Storm Shadow. Wield your swords. There's one. And there's the other. Now he's ready to go slice some Joes with that. He does have an alternative head sculpt. I'm just not going to bother to put it on because it's a pain in the neck to put on different head sculpts. And his head is probably real tight, and I don't want to risk breaking the head. It's a brand new figure. For me, it's a brand new figure. I don't like risking breaking my toys. Especially when they're going to be on my shelf for a long time. He's got some ankle tilt. Nice. Now, for some comparisons. Here we got a G.I. Joe Snake Eyes movie Scarlet. She's almost the same size. I think it's... Uh, Nine inch with this, about eight and quarter with this. And just for comparison, here it is with some of my older G.I. Joes, three and three quarter inch. G.I. Joe, Rise of Cobra, Cover Girl, why not? And a classic G.I. Joe, Venom vs. Valor, Viper, Cobra Soldier, why not? And that's all the comparisons I dug out, because I wanted to make this video quick. Is a G.I. Joe Classified Storm Shadow worth adding to your collection? The first G.I. Joe show I ever watched before I watched G.I. Joe, A Real American Hero. I have to say G.I. Joe Renegade and G.I. Joe Sigma 6. One of my favorite G.I. Joes was G.I. Joe Sigma 6. And that's what sold me on G.I. Joe a long time ago. And now I'm actually collecting G.I. Joe, and it's awesome. These swords are really well painted and sculpted. His hands are really well done. His white ninja uniform is really well done. I love how this figure turned out. Even his eyes are really good. Take a look at that. This is a worthwhile figure if you're a G.I. Joe collector. I highly recommend this guy. Because he's Storm Shadow. You will meet your end, S -s -s Snake Eye. So says I, Storm Shadow. And I do an okay imitation of Storm Shadow from a real American hero. Because I've been watching that on Chromecast. And this is all there is to say for this review. And this is Eddie Hill. 
Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.